Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my precious pack, and welcome back once more to Vega Conflict. It's time for the final behemoth grind target, and that is the Umbra Overseer 150. The recommended ships that I'm going to advise you to use during this fight are going to be the same that I used. And that is the behemoth, Mark V, with the same fitting I actually have right now, due to how quickly it eats through the targets and how many you can go through. So for end of night repairs it's extremely good for your farming. And a single race and the fitting can be different. You want at least one Nova missile on it though for the area of effect spread because of how you're going to be dealing with the targets. Now as for your fleet commander I would recommend using Victoria if you have her due to the area of effect. If not Make sure you use Clay because he will be optimal for just maximizing the damage for the impacts that do occur against the AI fleet. But without further ado, let's get to a 150. Welcome to the 150, everybody. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to turn the behemoth towards the race and attack the innermost target and with your wraith you're going to want to strafe up just a little bit but make sure that it's turned in at effectively the spawn angle that it's currently facing because you want as many of these weapons as you can firing at the targets and you want them to be hit with an extremely heavy amount of AOE. Let's deal with this first group. Beautiful, they all bunched up the way that I love to see them. Move your race up just in front of your behemoth a bit and start turning because you're going to want to engage the next set of targets fairly quick like. Just like before, you want them to both be facing above the target ships because you want to be attacking them all and forcing them to strafe in a certain direction so that they can just volley and just suck up as many of your missiles as you can send. Now for the final one, don't worry about it, you want to force their wraith to turn in a bit. If it doesn't want to turn in, well, run it down with your behemoth, but you want your wraith to distract the behemoth. And the reason for this is so that you can take reduced repair time. And stop it a little bit short. Make sure it's facing above it, because you want to start strafing down, and you're about to see something that I love to do to this target. Still not my favorite target. The Overseer 140 holds that. You're going to make it dance for you. All you have to do is just turn the facing angle of the race every now and then to keep it within the firing range of your behemoth. That's it. And once the fleet gets back in 30 seconds, you're going to see that the fight is actually a fairly low repair time if you have a high level of Victoria for that fight. Because it helps to offset the Wraith's repair time, because my Wraith fitting currently has just enough hit points that I'm effectively increasing it by 50%. So the amount of damage it's taking correlates to the damage, but there, since the repair ratio has been altered due to Victoria's health bonus, it is actually fairly low. And let's go ahead and let's take a look at the two. 11 minutes, 24 seconds repair time. And... 5 minutes, 5 seconds. This is my favorite thing about using this fleet for this. The Mark 6 or the Elite is the easiest target I've hit thus far. It is the easiest, but it is still not my favorite. And the reason it isn't is due to the simplicity of the target. However, that works out in your favor because it allows you to mass farm at the end of a day. Unlike with all the previous targets because you were taking larger percentages of your health. Alternatively, if you do not have a race, you could try and attach a... Hostility Augment Special to your behemoth. It won't be as effective as the race, not even close, because the race reduces it's the 100% compared to what, 35 or 37%? But it's nowhere near it. So I would recommend the exact way that I've shown with the race included. But that's going to be it, everybody. 
that's the end of the grind target tutorial for this set. If this helped you out in any way, I'm extremely glad. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them below in the comment section. I'll answer them if possible. If you have any questions about fittings or anything like that, feel free to ask. I'm sure I can answer it or somebody else can answer it in the comment section. If you just want to say hi, hi. If you want to see more content like this or if you want to see the rest of the tutorial videos, they're available on the channel under the playlists. And I think I'm going to move all of them to individual playlist tutorials, and these ones will be most likely moved to Vega Grand Target tutorials, and it will be for each of the main Grand Targets that gives you a large reward, such as Behemoth, um, Segfault, um, whatever the Altarian Dreadnought's going to be, because we all know that we're going to get one at some point. I doubt that they're going to give us the actual mothership because they already made the PvP version of that and it was a jump ship and I doubt they're going to do the same thing for the standby. I think they're going to make a third essentially behemoth except for it's the Altarian variation using the mothership. But, that's going to be it everybody. If you enjoyed the video feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always everybody, stay safe out there in the void and I will see you in the next video.